If you're using Nix or Nix OS, you gotta check out Nix Flakes. The Nix Package Manager relies on the concept of channels, which are basically a set of pre-built expressions. This is great, except they aren't composable. It means whenever you wanna update one package, all the other ones update too, because you're really updating the channel. Nix Flakes were designed to address this problem by introducing self-contained projects, called a flake, and standardizing package definitions. A Nix flake defines dependencies and their specific versions. The best feature of this is your coworker can't say, it works on my machine. You can try out flakes by running Nix flake new. This creates a flake.nix file. Inside, we can see the structure of a Nix flake definition has inputs and outputs. Inputs define explicit dependencies, while outputs define functional results, including apps, modules for other flakes, and dev shells. If we run nix flake lock to create the flake.lock file, it captures precise versions of all dependencies similar to a Node.js package lock JSON. Previously, a nix expression could be anything really and had no schema except requiring a call to derivation. By standardizing package definitions, nix flakes let you build with other arbitrary flakes and create truly reproducible builds instead of being tied to a channel. This sounds awesome, so why is there so much confusion around it? Well, the idea for Flakes came from Target's problems using Nix and Shea Levy's work presented at NixCon 2018. From this, Flakes were formally proposed in 2019 by the creator of Nix, Ilko. They were implemented a year later and released in Nix 2.4 a year after that. However, the RFC introduced in 2019 was never formally merged, and to this day, Flakes are considered experimental. This means to use flakes, you have to set a flag in your config. With that said, it's such an obvious feature that I can't see it going away, and most documentation highly recommends using flakes. Let's take a look at our example earlier and make it functional. Imagine we have a Node.js app, so we add a quick JavaScript here. We'll have Node.js as a dependency, so we'll add it to the flakes inputs. And let's also add an output to allow the user to run this script. Running nix develop will build the flake and replace the current nix shell. You can combine this with something like durenv to automatically drop into the shell when you enter the directory, skipping readmes and making collaboration with your team easier. That's it for this video, but if you want to learn more about Nix, check out this other video on the secret of the Nix language.